Hey guys, what's up? It's once again mp4podcast.com and uh, you think that 1080p camera is the best thing you probably can get your hands on? You know, those nice Canon 5D Mark IIs or, you know, those 60Ds or T T2Is or whatever, GH1s, GH2s, nah, they're all going to be obsolete pretty soon because uh, 4K is coming out right around the corner. Now, there are a lot of 4K cameras but they're starting to slowly crop up. Now I was over at philipblooms.net's website and um, Philip uh, made a post about the new JVC 4K camera and this is the JVC 4K camera. It's a small body um, you know it's probably going to be, I don't really know the price of it but looking at the size of it it's going to probably maybe cost two, three thousand dollars maybe thirty five hundred. I really don't quite know the price of this camera but look at this. This is the resolution of this camera. Okay. 3,840 by 2,160 pixels. That's basically 2160p. Okay. That is really, really sharp. Now, Philip did make a old post that I do remember. And he goes, video DSL, uh, D DSLRs, the death of the 35 millimeter adapter. And uh, for you guys who don't know what uh, 35 millimeter adapters, let me just uh, tell you what they are. They're a way of getting a film look from a camcorder, shallow depth of field, and so on. What you do is you screw um, this onto uh, your camcorder but you have to put it on rails because it is very uh, heavy and it can uh, rip the um, the um, the threading on your um, camcorder so it has to be braced but basically once you have it all set up you pop it on a tripod you start filming now these are a little bit bulky there are some smaller models but um, these have actually stopped selling a lot just because people are starting to buy Canon DSLRs, uh, Panasonic DSLRs, some people use Nikon, um, so those are the three models that people pretty use, uh, pretty much use, and they are very compact and very easy to work with. But my question is, as easy as those are, and so on. Let's say you are somebody who does have the budget to buy, you know, extra equipment. You know, you're not like somebody. It's like, you know, you don't really have that much money, so you end up buying like a T3i or a 60D or a T2i or whatever it is. Would you drop your DS, uh, DSLR to jump over to this JVC 4K camera with the resolution, like I said, 3000 by uh, 48, uh, 480 by two, uh, 2160? Okay this is extremely extremely sharp and the reason why it is a huge benefit to shoot with this camera once it comes out is that once we get past 1080p um, television sets your, your, your what you shoot is still going to look good on the future uh, HDTV sets now for people who are shooting 1080p your videos will have to be upscaled for the new HD TVs that are coming out down the road. I don't know when they're exactly coming, but they are working on them. Okay, here is um, the first uh, 8K um, television set. And yes, they do have 8K uh, TV sets that they are working on. Okay, Shop is working on one. And the resolution of this TV set is 7,680 by 4,320. This is extremely, extremely sharp. And uh, let me just move over here so you guys can see it. This TV is so sharp, even when it's, it's like 82 inches. There's guys going up to it. Let's see if I can just move over here. People are taking close-up pictures, and there's no pixelation. That's how sharp this this TV is. This is a monster of a beast. Now, um, here is the Sony 
uh, F65 4K camera. And um, this is also a beast. As you can see, this is a very huge camera. And one of the reasons why you really want to go 4K is because the future of your movies you know 10 years down the road 20 years down the road they're still gonna look beautiful one of the problems with 1080p is it's really a low resolution image however um, the illusion that also one of the illusions that people think something is very sharp is a very clean image now keep that in mind clean can be soft but still look good so you know that's the benefit of shooting digital even when you're at a lower resolution if you have a very high bit rate you're not going to have any macro blocking it's not going to look um, you know like it's out of a crappy camcorder as long as it has a high bit rate and the picture holds together it's still going to look good even like the first red one cameras uh, even the Panasonic movie cameras we're just shooting 1080p and a lot of movies that you go to the movie theater to, are shot in 1080p now keep in mind that film is much sharper than 1080p and film is probably somewhere around like I said like the 8k uh, resolution um, that's like right around here so we're really at the um, beginning point of HD television sets now keep in mind a lot of people are like well you know we have these 32 megapixel cameras why aren't they shooting at that resolution for video well keep in mind when you take one picture that processor chip and like a Canon camera only has to do one still if you're doing video it's doing anywhere from 24 frames per second 30 or 50 or 60 it's a lot more horsepower and there's other elements in video that they also have to uh, uh, account for so this guy's I mean if you guys are gonna be buying any high-end gear very soon you may want to take a look at this JVC camcorder and um, you know, if you somebody if you're somebody who likes shallow, shallow depth of field, then maybe get a 35 millimeter adapter. I'm really curious uh, to see some footage out of this camera. Now, keep in mind, I mean, you're gonna need a high-end monitor to view this type of content. Um, so, but there are some PC monitors with resolutions that high or close to it, so you can get a pretty good idea. So once again, guys, this is mp4podcast.com signing out. And I'm going to leave all the links um, in the description box. And uh, check out the one from um, uh, Next Wave G. Uh, Tony does a great job on his channel. Also, um, I'll leave this video. Also, I'll be leaving uh, Philip Bloom's uh, YouTube channel and his Vimeo channel in the description box if you want, guys want to get some filmmaking tips. So once again, guys, this is mp4podcast.com signing out. You guys take care. Later, guys. Bye.